Hello, this is Mary with Mango Math, and we are doing a fifth grade game on multiplying fractions called Fraction Blocks. Within this game, we are using actual fraction blocks to show what students are doing when they're multiplying fractions. In the pouch, it will be your lesson, which giving you information about the mathematics on the front page. And then on the next page, on the back of that page, you will have the step-by-step -step directions with some visual representation of what the game is about. So in this game, students will be using pattern blocks and I let them play around with the pattern blocks to see what pattern blocks fit into what shapes and how many of each shape fits into this whole uh, hexagon. And that's our one hole is the hexagon. So they can play with that and then they'll draw a card to play the game. So everyone's going to do this fractional problem uh, each on their own board and figure it out. So what I want students to realize is that when you're multiplying fractions, you are actually taking the sentence of one half of two thirds. So we're going to be taking one half of two thirds. We want to start with two thirds. So we're going to put up two of these blue pieces up to represent two thirds because it takes three pieces to fill that whole space up. So we're going to put our two thirds here. So we remember what problem we're doing. And we want to take one half of it. So since we have two pieces to take one half, we're just going to take one away and we're left with this one piece. And that one piece represents one third, because that's how many pieces make that whole. So that one piece represents one third. So one half of two thirds is one third. So there's one example. I'm going to give you another example. Move these pieces out. I'm going to go to another card here. And this next card is two thirds. Oops. Let's see. Sorry about that. Pages are turning slowly. Okay, this next piece is two thirds of one half. I'm going to write that down real quick just in case those cards decide to do something. So this is just the reverse of the problem we just did. We put the fractions in a different order. So the math equation is two thirds times one half or we could think it up as two thirds of one half. So we want to start with our half, which is this red piece right here. And we want to divide that half up into thirds. Let me bring this forward. And so it's gonna take these, and notice it doesn't fit exactly because I couldn't get that uh, parallelogram to work for me. Uh, to come out to the right size, but you get the idea. So I could take three of these, bring these all to the front, and fill in that space. So it takes three of them to fill in that space. So two thirds of one half. So to figure out what two thirds are, I'm going to just take two of those three, and you'll see I have two of those three, but these pieces are sixths, aren't they? So I actually have two sixths, or the students might recognize that this one third, let me bring that to the forward, this one third is this equivalent to those two sixths. So the answer would be one third. So two thirds of one half is actually one third. So that shows the students visually what they're doing when they're multiplying fractions. So enjoy.